Previously on Welcome to the Family. You could feel the needle going in and you feel like a liquid like... <laughs> I recently came to the market for a new car. You're planning to buy an expensive car, so they gotta treat you different. It didn't feel safe at first. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. So we told the Mercedes people to hold on to the car and if they were able to give us a better deal, we would actually come back and buy the car. We decided to go check out another couple of cars at a different dealership that was in a bit of a sketchy neighborhood. Definitely not a Mercedes dealership. I'm afraid they're gonna steal our car now. <laughs> not bad. We test drove a couple of the cars, which, you know, weren't really up to par. They were nowhere near as good as the Mini. Okay. That's all right. That's neat. You need to buy something that makes you happy, dude. You don't need to buy something and, and you know, that you were a little more gun ho with your Mini, and then now you're this thinking one, of... Yeah, exactly. Like so why yeah. jump into something you don't like? Yeah. Get a cool car that you're going to enjoy. Yeah. Think about it, maybe. In, yeah. yeah. Would you like to see another car? Um... He was very adamant to make sure that we would leave with a car. But not in that kind of sleazy car salesman kind of way that you kind of see on TV and you're used to. So we go into his office and he pulls up the database. And he's saying, choose any car you want. I say, wait a minute, is this the same inventory that Mercedes has? And he says, yeah. I said, well, I already know the car we want. The only thing is they weren't willing to negotiate. He says, well, I'll negotiate. I said, then we're buying. A lot of times it seems like, at least now, a lot of the networkers we've been going to. I've been meeting a lot of people who just are a lot of talk and not a lot of action and they're just frustrated. What's the difference between somebody that talks a lot and somebody that takes action? This one woman who came up who was interested in something that we were talking about but then proceeded to tell me that she knew everything that we were talking about so she didn't need it. And then this other woman who was like, oh that's interesting. You know what? Why don't we talk about how we can work together? Maybe we can do something like this. It's Somebody wanting to actually set up a meeting with you, getting your information and being like, let's talk soon, versus somebody who's just there to kind of stroke their own ego. Unfortunately, Miami is full of people who like to stroke their own ego. <laughs> and that would be Miami right there. <laughs> you know what I think the problem is, is that a lot of people think that they become an expert at something just because they like it or just because they got some information on it. My favorite are the people who know something about it because, oh, well, that happened to somebody that I know kind of through there. I heard about it. And it's like, really? And what ended up happening is we negotiated the price down at the second dealership for the minute we saw at the first and had it towed over once we agreed on a price to purchase. That's a true story. We're welcoming a new yeah, addition. What's her name? It's a girl. Madison. Ooh, Madison. Madison. Where did you get this from? The bridges of Madison County. Oh, All right. What the <laughs> hell? Why did you have this in your brain already? <laughs> I already had the name picked out. Oh, oh damn. Oh my god. There it is. Yeah, there it is, man. Oh, you're cute, man. You're there cute. it is. Cute, Look at it. Yeah, that's a cute one. You did it. Eric's new car. Eric, congratulations, man. That's a cool looking car, buddy. You need to put some wheels on it. <laughs> yeah, right. Apparently he already has a name for it. Matilda. Madison. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice little car. Now you just gotta learn how to drive a stick. Oh, she's pretty. Shit. Oh, yeah. You're gonna like this. Oh, yeah, I love it. I can't wait to drive her. Learn to drive her. <laughs> He loves it. He loves Val and my car more than Val and I love our cars. And he can drive my car more than I can drive my car. It's also one of my favorite cars. <laughs> so his only hesitation for the car was, I don't know how to drive stick. However, the deal was so good that he couldn't pass it up. I had a new car that I couldn't drive. So we had to go teach him how to drive. Bert, LJ and I get into the car. First thing you gotta check is your brakes. Because you're removing this brake. And go through, you know, the formalities of it. All right, this is a stick shift. This is a clutch. This is what you do. It all sounded perfectly logical in theory. And if you think you're losing control, mm -hmm. I always go to clutch, clutch, and then you have control of the brake, and it's now on clutch, it releases the engine. Okay. So you're like on neutral. Okay. So so whenever you're panicking a little bit, you put it in neutral, clutch, and, and, and the car goes in neutral. Now you control the brake. Okay. Because what's confusing is it's, it's doing this, yeah. and you're like, what the... You know, yeah, so I don't feel like I have no clutch. Clutch will save you everything. Right, so. Can I tell you? So, that's it, man. That's it, you got it. 
First gear is the hardest that you're on now. Now drive, listen to the engine, get used to it, accelerate, don't be afraid. Accelerate! Accelerate? Okay, okay wait, stop. Okay. You are in first. Okay, no, you're in third. In <laughs> third? Okay. okay. Go down with the clutch if you want, so you don't feel like you're... Uh, because eventually what you'll do is you'll downshift. Put it in a second because we just slowed down. We got all the time in the world. Right. Right. So. When you're first learning how to drive stick, you do the Donkey Kong. Accelerate, go, 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 accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. Go, go. At least you're on. At least you're on. You're on. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Donkey Kong is when the car just can't get into gear and you can get whiplash. You gotta be very careful. Warning. You can get hurt because I almost did. <laughs> Accelerate with my foot all the way down. You're doing this and then that. So you're confusing the car and then, and then you're panicking. This is your goal. Okay. Once the first gear is done, you're straight. You couldn't do this two years ago. I'm just not so certain I can do it right now. Now you're doing it. And then, of course, knowing how we are, and we push people to their potential and beyond. Bye! Yeah, we're gonna go first gear on the red light. <laughs> Alright. No fuck, you're gonna do this. Instead of driving also in like maybe a vacant parking lot or side streets, which we did start out at, Bert then after like one little lap said, Alright, let's go out into traffic. Because that's how we do things around here. Street, yeah. <laughs> but no, he was pretty good. I was really impressed. I stalled several times. Oh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty going back, going back. Almost reversed into a car. Uh, all of this made me sweat through my clothes because when I'm nervous, I sweat profusely. <sighs> Foot is shaking. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're breaking new, new barriers in life. It was nerve wracking. I had about a half a dozen panic attacks. It's on. It keeps on it just every turns time. Off. That's, that's the punishment. <laughs> you know the starter is good. <laughs> just make it left here. Yeah, there's traffic. And then we go to the main traffic. Oh, I don't want to go on 127. You're going 127. No, I Yes, do sir. No, Shut no, up. No, straight. <laughs> push you, man. That's what we do here at Bolo. We push you to your limits and beyond. Now opening the Bolo driving school. <laughs> now you'll never learn, dude. This is what I did with OJ. I said, you want a bike? Yeah. Okay, follow me. Go on the expressway. Except I crashed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> I'll wait. Convertible down. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I love nice. it when I go topless. Okay. Feeling good? Better. Feeling better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're doing it, man. <laughs> You're gonna have to get a hat. It sounds just takes practice, like anything else. You know, as long as you just sort of put aside your fears and just have at it and accept the challenge head on. It, it never is as bad as you think. But you knew you were losing this time. Yeah. It wasn't like before that you didn't know what the hell was going on. Hold on. That's him. Let's try it back in a little more. Okay. That. <laughs> He's not sweating because of the convertible. <laughs> Look, I'm not sweating. <laughs> <laughs> My God, what a pain it was to first start out. Now we have two more people we need to teach how to drive stick. I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to the family show. And what I... Hey, what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're gonna do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do, do, what are you waiting for? Do it now. Now.